Hey there, everybody. How y'all out there doing today? Guess what? There's been a brand new update to uh, Rise and Roll. And I'm bringing this to you guys today to, because uh, this just came out 28 minutes ago, and well, 30 now, and I wanted to bring this to you guys live, well, not live, but uh, straight out, straight to the point. I'm going to update, the, I'm going to upload this thing to YouTube almost immediately, and I hope you guys get to really enjoy this. So check this out. This is the greatest update I have seen to Rise and Roll just to date, pretty much. All right. Hi, everyone. Here's from Red51, change log, um, January 21st, 2018, Steam Player 2 P2P Multiplayer and Friend List Support. Now, this is really cool because I got a lot of friends on, uh, I got a lot of friends that I would love to invite to my world to see if they could help out and do some extra work. You know, it'd be awesome just to have a, uh, it'd just be so cool. All right. Check this out. Finally, we managed to, hi everyone, finally managed to finalize the work on the new networking code. This update introduces a new networking system which should less, <clears throat> which should be less error prone than the old one. But at the same time, we also added support. We also added support for Steam P2P multiplayer. This means you can finally host a game on your machine without having to forward po ports or use Hamachi or something like that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Red. This is totally cool. This is totally awesome. I would love to be able to invite people to my world. I would love to so much. You know, just to see if they can help out. Because I'm doing all this mining. I got all this stuff I want to do. And it's a little bit much on me. But if I can get a team of people that are willing to uh, come in, you know, record videos with me, or they don't mind me hopping into my world and doing recording or anything like that, awesome. I would love to be able to do that. But I can't leave the world up running all the time. So I don't know how that's going to work out. This means you can finally host a game on your machine without having to forward ports or use Hamachi or something like that. Now you can simply hit the play with friends button in single player menu and invite your friends through your friends list. Alternatively, a friend of yours can simply join your game if you're playing multiplayer. The new networking system now also in contains an automatic reconnect feature if you lose connection for a brief moment the game will automatically reconnect to the server ideally without any interruptions the typical 10 minute disconnect some people were suffering from should be history if however we had limited possibilities to put this feature to the acid test we really need your feedback if you experience any sudden disconnects or other multiplayer issues please let us know this update introduces new haircuts new clothes and precisely new headgear including two special items of equipment looky guys the mining helmet we got the mining helmet you remember how i was talking to you guys about that it'd be so cool if we had a mining helmet we could use oh yeah <laughs> that's so awesome all right so including Helmets with integrated lamps, which provide the player with light. The uh, previous debug light is now disabled. <gasps> Finally. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As usual, the updates contain a few bug, bug fixes and changes. For example, we reduced the clipping of the player body through clothes. Uh, I don't know if I noticed that. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. All right. The... Uh, Result still isn't perfect and still needs more work, but it's improvement compared to the previous situation. Apart from that, we did opti some optimizations to world generation and also reduce the overall memory consumption. Stay tuned for the next update. Thank you, Red. Thank you. Thank you so much for that mining helmet. I think I am going to be having myself a lot of fun. All right. So, um, here's one question that I have to ask, Red. Here's one question that I have to ask, all right? If I am in multiplayer with a bunch of people, say I invite, like, three people over to my, over to my game and they want to play it, all right? I switch it over to creative mode. Does that mean all of them are going to go into creative mode? Or do I have to give them special permissions for them to be able to go into creative mode? You know, because mining tool, mining rock and all that stuff and hammering, that stuff can sometimes take hours. And being able to hit into creative mode on and off as per usual or something, it would be highly beneficial. Um, I haven't crafted the 
the uh, drill yet, but we will get to that. Um, let's just go ahead and let's hop up and talk some more about this. All right. So the change log is this new integrated Steam P2P networking. Invite friends without having to forward posts. New added Steam friend list support. Able to join and invite friends straight through Steam. Yeah, we got to test that out. Rework networking code from scratch. Should be less error prone now. Added automatic reconnect for players to catch small interruptions. Added two new helmets with integrated lamps. That's the mining helmet, guys. So there should be two different variants of that. I imagine you'll need some tungsten and rods and stuff and things for that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Added new headgear. Cowboy hat. Yee! Get the cowboy in me. We got the pilgrim hat. A cappy. A camo. All right. Uh, a balaclava. Never heard of it. A chef hat. <laughs> That's cool. So if you want to have a, uh, sir, if you want to have uh, somebody, you know, be the food person. They're in charge of the food. All right. Of uh, crafting food materials like we want bread or something like that. The chef will be the person to do that. Now we get the unclezum hat. I don't even know what that is. I never heard of it in my life. Um, you know what? Um, we are actually going to Google that. Uh, search Google. <laughs> what is an unclism hat? <laughs> an Uncle Sam hat. Okay. Uncle Sam. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see that. Reduce clipping of player body. World generates faster now with, when there are lots of buildings. Reduce direct memory consumption. Slightly reduced running speed. Why? All right. I don't know. Stamina lasts longer now. Yeah, it seemed like it was just fine. Board now gets covered by face mask. Beard now gets covered by face masks. Updated sounds of the wooden sword. I don't think we made one of those. Updated appearance of the military helmet. Objects can no longer be placed on animals or players. Okay. I didn't know. That must have been a bug. Remove the debug light from survival mode, which was L. So every time we hit shift plus L to record, guys, we no longer have the boom. It's bright. <laughs> we no longer have that. It's gone. It's That is so nice. I was just asking. If, I was just wondering if there's a way to rebind that to something different. But removing it, eh, I guess that'll work too. Improve performance when playing... Placing large blueprints. Okay. So basically, if we go mining and we're, we need to see everything we're doing, um, my main man, my uh, my mine, my main way of mining is just to go into creative mode and just hammer away all the stone that I can. So we'll have to see how that works out. All right. Improve performance when placing large blueprints. Command undo blueprint. Works much faster now. I didn't know that worked. I would usually spend hours just... I literally spent three days a long while back. I think it was sometime last year we placed a blueprint of one of my houses. It was set up wrong. And I had to literally go and destroy the thing block by block. I even did that on a multiplayer once. <laughs> um, improved performance of creative mode tool, F7. Oh, that's for removal. Okay. Um, player no longer uses sprint animation when having broken bones. All right. Saplings can be placed anywhere in creative mode. Fixed disconnect in multiplayer. Fixed lighting issues of player headgear. Fixed issue of players being invisible to multiplayer sometimes. They need some feedback on some of these things. All right. So, if you guys are playing this game, get out there, play it. You see any problems, he could use some feedback on things like this right here, like a fixed issue of players being invisible and multiplayer sometimes. He needs some feedback on that. In other words, get out there, see if you can find anything wrong with that, and test it, see what he knows, and let him know so that Reg can go in there and fix it. Fix being able to place multiple ores in the same furnace slot. I didn't... I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, spinning wheel no longer consumes too much wool, cotton fibers. But anyway, it only did two. All right. Fixed uh, wrong crossbow position for other players in multiplayer. Fixed missing label when picking up clothing items. 
Saplings can now be planted on farmland again in survival mode. Okay. I think that's our... We've been doing that. Yeah, we have done that already. That was before this. I don't know. All right. Scoreboard tab properly updates now. Um, updates properly now. So this is the uh, new change log, guys. Get out there. Play some Rising World. Enjoy the game. And I'll see you guys there. See you next time. Later.